water is a limited resource and so it is important to conserve it. Water cycle Water in the oceans, seas, rivers and lakes gets heated by the sun and evaporates, forming water vapour. This water vapour rises up. When this water vapour comes in contact with the cool air, it condenses to form tiny drops of water. The tiny drops join together to form clouds. As more drops join together, they become heavy and come down in the form of rain or snow. The rain water flows down into the rivers, lakes, seas and oceans. Water from rivers, lakes, seas and oceans evaporates again. It is a continuous process. This is called the water cycle. Rivers of India India is a land blessed with many rivers which crisscross our land. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, from Gujarat to Assam, rivers flow through all these states. Almost every state has at least one river passing through it. The rivers may be small or big like the Ganga and the Brahmaputra. Some rivers, like the Ganga, start their journey from the snow-covered mountains. Such rivers are called snow-fed rivers. They have water flowing in them throughout the year and are known as perennial rivers. The rivers in the south, like the Krishna and Kaveri, and the rivers in the west, like the Narmada, receive water from the rains. These rivers are called rain-fed rivers. They flow in full force during the rainy season, but some of these are reduced to small streams during the dry months. India receives rain from the southwest monsoons for almost three months of a year. We get rains from the northeast monsoons in the months of October to December. Many parts of southern India receive considerable rain from the northeast monsoon. Tamil Nadu gets nearly half its annual rain during this monsoon. We cannot use the sea and ocean water for our daily water needs since it is very salty. In spite of having so many rivers and freshwater lakes, and receiving so much rain, we face shortage of water. The main reason for this is increase in population. Water is used not just in our daily activities, but in many manufacturing and industrial units as well. The following industries require a large amount of water. Textile and paper manufacturing factories, chemical and fertilizer factories, soft drink manufacturing and bottling units. Underground water Rainwater seeps through the ground and gets collected below the rocks present under the surface of the soil. It seeps in deeper till it reaches a solid surface and remains there. This water is called underground water. But even here, overuse of this source of water is causing scarcity.